Okay, welcome to this tutorial on Talking Word Processor. Uh, this software works like any other word processor that you may have used, except that it will read back to you the words that you're typing and the sentences that you're typing in it, and in general helps you uh, type your reports better. Uh, first thing I want to bring to your attention are the three buttons up here that have green check marks in them. They represent three of the main functions of the software. Over here you see S repeat meaning sentence repeat because the green check mark is there it means it's on right now and if you were to check the box click on the box then it has a red X which means sentence repeat function is off so I'm going to click it right back on and then uh, W repeat means word repeat if you want the software to repeat the words that you're typing then leave this green check mark there and the same thing with uh, this third box called prediction this box I'm sorry this button represents a word box that opens up while you're typing that offers words that you might be trying to type therefore it's offering you words that the software is predicting that uh, might be useful for you while you're typing if you didn't want that function on you just click on the button and it turns off click on it again and it turns back on let me demonstrate uh, these functions for you. Type a simple sentence. Elephants. Oh. Now watch the word prediction box open, and it's offering for me words that I could be typing right now. Large. Okay, I'm going to write the word mammal. Notice mammals is at the, the first word in the prediction box, but what if I didn't know how to spell it? If I didn't know it had two M's. Well, looking at the prediction box, I would look at the word and say, oh, it's, it has two M's. Elephants are large mammals. Okay, so what Talking Word Processor just did is, as I was typing words, it read the words back to me, and when I hit the period at the end of the sentence then it read the entire sentence back to me and as I was typing it was offering words that it thought I was trying to type which also could help me uh, type or write better I'm gonna write one more sentence to demonstrate a few more functions here the, the words for this. okay now I'm gonna stop right here SEN and it's providing nine words for me that I might be trying to type right now it just so happens I'm trying to type the word sentence which is number three if I type one more letter T now sentence is number one in the word prediction box I have several options here with this box if I click on the word sentence it'll be read to me if I double click on it then the word will go down into the text that I'm writing. Watch, I'll double click on it. Sentence. Okay, so now that word was placed into my sentence. Now I'll write a few more words. Sentence. So now I've typed three letters and the word prediction box is trying to predict what uh, word I might be trying to type and I'm trying to type the word provided which happens to be number six I'm gonna click on that Provided. if I double clicked again that word would be inserted into the sentence But let's say I want to look up its definition and learn more about it well I can right click on that word and a definition box opens up which when I click on the read button will be read to me verb one provide or furnish with two provide what is desired or needed Okay, I'm going to close the definition box. So these words can be inserted into the sentence for you and also can be defined. And one more thing I want to show you is that this box provides nine words. There's actually a second box or a second page of words. On my keyboard, if I click down, if I, if I press the page down key, which I'll do right now, notice that the prediction box toggled or switched to page two which offers nine more words so there's actually a total of 18 words that are being offered to me I'll hit the uh, page down button again and go back to page one because 
um, I want the word provided, I'm going to double click on it. Provided. Okay. And I'll continue typing here. Provided. Uh, for, for me as fine. Now I'm going to hit the period and the whole sentence will be read. The words for the sentence are provided for me as I type. Okay. All right, next I'd like to show you that you can import words from other documents. For example, a, a web page. I'm going to open up a web page right now. And I'm going to copy the words from this web page, Control C. And I'm going to paste them right into Talking Word Processor. And I can manipulate this text just like I would any other word processor if I want this to be larger or smaller. I can just pick the size of the font and um, but there is one one uh, feature I do want to bring to your attention and that is if you have a long report with pages and pages that you have um, are typing and that you're taking information off the web you, Talking Word Processor has a functionality that will help you organize your report. You see here the word, the button highlight and the button color. You can highlight different parts of your report into different colors. I've highlighted this paragraph. I'm going to hit the highlight button and it turned that paragraph into green. Let's say on this paragraph, somewhere else in my report, it's on a different topic or a different context and I want to use a different color to help me organize uh, my my report, I can click on uh, a different color, hit the highlight button, and then that paragraph becomes a different color. I can do that th with four different colors. You just toggle through the colors here. And my report will be organized into different colors, which then I can extract out of my document into separate documents. Hit the extract button and it asks, well, do you want all the colors or do you just want the the text that you highlighted is yellow or the text that you highlighted is blue, pink, green, etc. And then when you hit extract, though, let's say I wanted only the blue highlighted paragraphs, I hit extract and those paragraphs will be copied into a new document and that might help me or help any student uh, organize all the information that they're gathering from the web and uh, put it into a separate report. And the last thing I want to bring to your attention is that when you type your report and you save it, you have the option of saving it as a doc file, .doc, which means a Microsoft Word file, or you can save it as a dot rtf which is a microsoft wordpad file or you could even save it as htm which is a uh, website or a web page file or dot txt which is a text file for notepad and so you can change any one of, you can change your report into any one of those documents plus you can import those same types of documents into this software